You guys are good to go with Coach Walters. How's everybody doing? Hey, what's up, Ryan? How are you? Good, Joey. How you doing, man? Good. Hey, I just want to, it's been a couple weeks of spring ball. What's your assessment of what you guys have over there on the defensive side? I'm really pleased with with uh, where we're at right now. Obviously, we've got a long ways to go, but um, I think we're right where we need to be. Um, you know, guys have been uh, doing exactly what we asked them to do. Uh, you see improvement, you know, uh, every practice, the mistakes that were made from the previous practice or previous day that were corrected and film sessions are, are being corrected out on the field as well. So um, they're competing, they're having fun. They've got good energy right now. Um, I feel like our, our chemistry is is where it's where it should be at this point. Um, and we, you know, as a staff, I think um, our guys have done a good job of, of uh, you know, implementing schemes and, and progressing with the uh, install at a good pace. You know, it's, it's obviously you want to throw everything at them, but, um, you know, Coach Bielema's to, to his point is, you know, it's not, it's not a let's throw out the things on the wall and see what sticks. It's let's, let's get good at our fundamentals and, and our, our base uh, schemes and, then when they're when they're ready, they'll let us know, and we can we can move forward. So you know we're starting to see the little errors decrease uh, every practice, and you know as they decrease, we we keep adding schemes and, and scenarios and situations to be aware of. And you know I'm I'm very pleased and, and proud of you know, where they're at right now. I think Brett's talked about like offensively they work first and second downs, and now they're starting to get third. Do you guys have kind of an order of operations for your install that you know we want to get it's the this? same? Yeah, so what we, you know, obviously, you know, defensive football is reacting to the offense. So, um, you know, that's, that is a, a team install. You know, we, we do early downs um, at the start of it, and we've uh, sprinkled in some third down scenarios this past week. Um, so, with that, you get into some third down calls, third down schemes. So, um, you know, that's, yeah, that's, that's universal within the program. Thanks, Ryan. Mm -hmm. Hey, Coach, um, I wanted to ask you a little bit about Talon Lindsay and his uh, getting the scholarship yesterday. He obviously has a pretty special story as one of his many coaches, I guess. What was that kind of like for you to see a kid with all the adversity he's gone through be rewarded with something like that? You know, Taylor, a, he's a hardworking kid, man. He does it. Um, you know, every 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 rep he takes is, is a thousand miles an hour. And um, obviously, you love to see people's hard work be rewarded and uh, for not only him, but for the you know those three other guys, um, you know, just ultra happy for him. Obviously, you don't you don't know the kind of impact it has, um, you know, for them financially, but just also you know your, your spirits. You know, it's it's being rewarded for your for your hard work, and those guys work hard. You know, there's there's no doubt about it. Um, so hats off to Coach B for for seeing that and recognizing it and um, rewarding them with scholarship. And then I wanted to focus on the safety group a little bit as well. Obviously, you're kind of handcuffed a little bit depth-wise with everything that you've been dealt with. But what have you seen out of the safeties in particular, especially with a guy like Prather Hudson, who you've added through the portal? Uh, just their willingness to to learn and, and work. You know, those those guys are hanging on every word um, that that any of the coaches are, are say. Um, you know, you're, you're seeing consistency with alignments, with calls, with checks. Um, then you see in production, um, we get into 11 on 11 situations. So. Um, really enjoy that group. It's a, it's a, you know, I, I always preach to them that you guys got to be the quarterback of uh, the defense. And so their, you know, their attitude in the film room is is that it's 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 you know it's even kill. It's um it's professional. Um, it's in, it's competitive. Um, and it's also encouraging. You know, we 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 have a pretty versatile room. Um, you know, we, we're playing. With um, with guys at different positions and, and they're doing a good job of understanding concepts, um, so I'm happy with where they're at. Like I said, we got a long way to go still, but but we're right where we need to be. And if I could get one more, I know you said you have a long way to go, and I'm sure that's the same thing with the outside linebackers, considering those guys are learning basically an entirely new defense of scheme, and as long as a new position as well. What have you seen out of those three, four major guys in that room? Man, I'll I'll tell you what, Owen Carney and Isaiah Gay. Um, you know, I'm, I'm happy as, as all can get out that they're here. Uh, they've had a great um, eight practices. Um, you know, they they've grown as leaders. Um, you know, they're ultra productive. You know, talk about versatile athletes, you know, strong, physical, fast, um, and they they're having, it feels like they're having fun within the scheme. Um, so really happy with those guys. And then the guys behind them are, are doing a, a, a great job too. So um, you know, we're, we're 
trying to develop depth um, as a defense um, in, in our totality um, on our side of the ball. And, um, the outside linebacker position is, is a reflection of that depth, uh, in my opinion. Thanks, Coach. Hey, Coach, I wanted to ask about the difficulty of an install like this when you're missing uh, so many linebackers. So, you you know, you have Hanson and Barnes and Tolson and Cooper all, at least not on the practice field. Uh, I'm guessing you can involve them in, in, in film study and such, but how, yeah. how difficult is it when you have four guys out like that for the spring? You know, it's, um, you know, obviously you feel for those guys. You know, it's it's for, for us, like, like we're a new staff, so it's, we don't know any different, you know what I mean? Um, and, you know, guys like Alex McCarron are doing a great job, which is awarding him a scholarship, you know. Um, but we do have periods of practice that we call them, you know, alignment, shift, trade, motion periods where it's just one step. And so those guys that you mentioned that aren't getting those live reps, they can actually get out there and line up and, and get a check and make a call and, and make sure that they're in the proper um, alignment, um, you know, in that, in that linebacker world. So they're still getting reps. And then you know, we give them a script out of practice. So they're taking no reps. Um, I know uh, Coach Boo's done a great job with those guys in, in the film room. Um, but, you know, it's, it's football, man. So you, you, you never know when your number's going to get called. And so I think uh, the guys that are out there right now have, have done a great job of, of, of not not letting that bother them and, and you know, picking up whatever, you know, like I said, we're, we're new. So it's not like we have seen those guys live, you know, that aren't that aren't in there. Um, you know, we just we set a standard of how we want um, defense to be played and, and with what uh, technique and with what um, verbiage and, and what kind of communication and, and the guys that are in there are doing that. So um, they're setting a good example for the guys that that aren't. Um, so it'll be it'll be fun in the in the uh, fall camp when everybody's healthy. Um, and you get to go compete and see exactly what we got out of that room in its totality. I know when there's a, a coaching change, there's there's always coming out of the spring maybe a name or two of a younger guy that didn't play much under the old coach and and really caught the eye of the new coaches, the new coordinators, anything else. Are there any player names you can give us on your defense? Uh, you know, guys who, who maybe have surprised you a little bit. There wasn't much film on them when you were watching over the winter, but get them out on the practice field and, and they're, they're surprising you with what they've got. Um, you know, I'm not, I don't know if they're surprised is, is the word, you know, just because like I said, I wasn't here, man. So it's not, I didn't, I didn't know these guys um, and who they were as, as players. Um, you know, I studied each individual. Um, we as a staff studied each individual. Um, so, you know, what, what you saw, what you think you saw from a eval standpoint is kind of what you're seeing um, on Saturday, or not on Saturday, but, but throughout the spring ball. Um, and so I don't, I don't know if surprise is there, is there, is, I, don't, you know, I haven't really been surprised because I didn't have any expectations, you know what I mean? Um, you know, the, the goal is just to get better every day, and, and those guys are, are, are doing that. And so that's, the, uh, that's been the focal point. Um, so it was, it's kind of hard to be surprised without prior prior expectations, if that makes sense. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Rob. Hey, Ryan, good to see you. Um, I know you just mentioned Alec McCarron being a guy who stepped up in that linebacker room. Are there any other guys who have really stood out to you? I wanted to kind of build off that question that was asked about, you know, some of your key linebackers being out for right now. Are there any other guys in that room who have especially stood out so far? No, really, man. Like those guys are all doing a great job. You know, you talk about Alex McCarron. You got uh, CJ. You know, the, the transfer from uh, North Carolina State. He's he's been doing an outstanding job. Um, shoot, Sean Coughlin. Um, you know, really, like there's there hasn't been a drop off between who's been in and who's been out. Um, and so, you know, I've, I've been pleased with that group. You know, regardless of how thin it, it might be. Isaac Dark Angelo is another guy who's, who's uh, really stood out and, and been explosive. Um, you know, I could, I'm, I'm sure I'm forgetting somebody too, but those guys are um, they're doing a, a really good job of being physical and, and playing downhill, and, but also understanding the scheme and, and understanding what we're trying to get from them from a, a run fit standpoint and a, and a uh, communication standpoint in, in the pass game. So um, Coach Boo's done a, a hell of a job with that group throughout the, the course of the spring so far. And 
given that we're about halfway through spring ball at this point, as far as practices are concerned anyway, I know you're still focused on installing your defense, of course, but do you have any other kind of goals or missions you've set out for the second half of spring ball as we lead toward this, this final spring game? Well, just to keep getting better, you know, coach preaches, preaches about stacking days and, and uh, that's how you, that's how you reach your end goal is you, you focus on um, the process and you embrace the, you know, embrace the journey, embrace the grind of it. Um, and so, you know, that's, that's the goal right now is just continue to continue to improve. You know, we, we'll, we'll get into some different scenarios and situational football um, to enhance, you know, IQ and awareness, um, you know, but every, every practice just, you know, keep, Keep getting better at your, uh, your fundamentals. Um, keep understanding what we're trying to get done from a, a concept standpoint. Um, and keep competing to try to earn uh, playing time when we get to the fall. Thanks, Ryan. Yeah. Hey, Ryan, I wanted to quickly ask, I know at least for the time being, Marquez has switched over to offense. And what do you kind of see out of the rest of your cornerbacks that allow for that kind of move? And what kind of confidence you have in that group? And what do they bring into the table so far? Yeah, you know, um, you know Coach Henry's done a great job with the, with those guys. Um, you know, obviously, Tony Adams is, is Tony Adams. And is, is, um, you know, he's consistent. He's got great feet. He's ready to line scrimmage. Um, and then, you know, Spoon is, is he's he is the, uh, the energy of that group, you know, ultra competitive. He's consistent and he's he's up here all the time. Um, really, really, really love him as a as a. You gotta you gotta have that kind of mindset at corner. You know, he's you don't care if he gets beat. He's gonna tell you. He's gonna talk to you. Um, he's gonna line up and, and go compete the next play. So um, he's everything you want from you know neck up as a corner. You know what I mean? And, and then he's got the physical tool set uh, to be a really good player. So. I'm happy with him. Um, and then the rest of those guys are doing a, a great job too. You can talk about Ted Letsy and um, what he's done to earn, earn her scholarship. And um, you know, we've got Kendall Smith has done a, a really good job too in, in that, with that second group and is, is uh, improving every day. Um, so like I said, Coach Henry's done a good job with those guys and those guys have done a good job of um, being coachable and, and going out and competing every practice. And if I could zoom in on one more guy specifically, uh, Johnny Newton was a guy like he's literally played running back in high school, comes here, makes a pretty good yeah. impact as a true freshman. What kind of growth do you see out of Pam? How's he picking up with everything? He's doing a really good job too, man. We're, you know, I can't I can't dive into exactly what we're doing schematically, but um, you know, he's been able to to grasp concepts and uh, play some different positions and um, you know, he's, he's physical. He's, he moves laterally really well. Um, he can get vertical really well. Um, and he is steady Eddie. Like he is consistent uh, with his approach, um, with the way he studies, um, with the, with the uh, effort he, he brings at practice. So I'm glad he's on our team. Well, thanks, Ryan. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem, Jordan. Anything else? Okay, good deal. Good.